Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to study fractions on a number line. First of all, I have a number line from 0 to 1. And how many parts is it divided into? Now, do not count 3 tick marks and say 3, because it is not divided into 3 parts. It is divided into 1, 2, 3 and 4 parts. That's how you need to count the parts, okay? Like units here. So, 4 parts. And therefore, we can mark the fractions 1 fourth, 2 fourths and 3 fourths on that number line. This tick mark is 4 1 fourth. The next one, 2 fourths. And this one is 3 fourths. This one is the same as 4 fourths or one whole, okay? If you don't see it, think of it as a rectangle, like this. If this was a long skinny rectangle, and then you would divide it into four parts, and then you would color, say, one part. If you color one part, you reach up to one fourth, the tick mark for one fourth, okay? Now, this number line, how many parts is it divided into? Okay, well, I can't count the tick marks. One, two, three, four, five, and say, I cannot say five. I can count this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six parts. So, when we come to this tick mark, it is one sixth. And then two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths. And then this tick mark is the same as six sixths. Now, can you tell me what fraction does this dot mark? Oh, Matthew's saying... No, he's not saying the answer. He says he's, he wants to jump on the number line. You know, Matthew likes jumping on number lines. He took seven jumps. And then two more jumps to reach to one. So the fraction is seven ninths, right? Over here is a number line again from zero to one. And our task is to mark three-eighths on it. Where is three-eighths on this number line? Okay, what we need to do is first divide this number line into how many parts? Eight parts, okay? We need to mark the tick marks and then after that we can mark three-eighths. So divide this into eight parts. First I will divide it into two parts, somewhere in the middle, okay? And then each half, I will divide into halves again. So now I have four parts. One, two, three, four. And then each one of these I will split. Okay, now I have eight parts. And then one, two, three, right there. Seven tenths, the same thing. Where is seven tenths on the number line? Don't just say, oh, it's here or here. We need to divide the number line into equal parts. Ten parts. Okay, first of all, I can split it. And then this into five parts. Which means I need four tick marks here in between zero and the half point. Four tick marks. There. And then four tick marks here. There. And then seven tenths. Matthew, can you jump seven little jumps? Just really tiny jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one. Seven tenths. Right. 